Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorials series. We have successfully completed CSS attribute selectors. We discussed CSS attribute selectors in detail and how we can use them in our HTML pages. From this video tutorial onwards, for the next few video tutorial, we are going to discuss CSS pseudo class selectors. They are very very useful selectors friend. Pseudo class selectors are used to select HTML elements based on their current status and apply styles on them. Of course, some of the HTML elements are going to have different status or states you can see. For example, the anchor element is going to have its default state that is unvisited state, hovered state when we move the mouse over its state changes to hovered state as, as well as if we click on the anchor element we visit to the page right. So anchor element state changes to visited state. Based on the current state of a HTML element, we can select it and apply the style on it. There comes the use of pseudo class selectors. If you learn pseudo class selectors very well, then you can write much more optimized CSS code. This is the syntax of pseudo class selector. We write a selector colon, then we write a pseudo class keyword. There are so many pseudo class keywords are there or you can say pseudo class name. In flower bracket, we write declaration list. What this syntax does actually? It selects any HTML element targeted by the selector and applies specified styles based on the pseudo class keyword used. Let's see an example, a syntax for hover pseudo class selector. So there is a hover pseudo class keyword or a name which we can use. This is a syntax for it, selector colon hover. Then in flower bracket, we write declaration list. It selects any HTML element targeted by the selector. If its status is hovered, applies the styles, whatever we de declared in the declaration list. The hovered state means on mouse over. An example is anchor colon hover. So A is a tag selector. In flower bracket, we have written background color orange. It selects any anchor element. If its status is hovered state, then it applies the background color orange to it. Let's see the demonstration and understand. I minimize the word document. I go to start, say here notepad. I click on the notepad and I write the typical basic structure of a HTML document, less than exclamation mark, doc type, HTML. Then I say opening HTML tag, lang equal to en, close. Closing HTML tag. I say here head head tag, closing head tag. Then I say here body tag, say closing body tag. In the head section, I write meta care set equal to UTF-8 close. File, save as. I save the file at desktop with the name default.html. Both sides I put double quotation and say save. I minimize the notepad. You can see that default.html page got created. I right click on it, say open with the Firefox. You can see that default.html page open in the Firefox. I reduce the size. I go to notepad. I set the title here. So I say title pseudo class selectors demo closing title file save go to browser and refresh. You can see title is set to pseudo class selectors demo. In the body section, I create an anchor element href is equal to next dot html both sides I put double quotation close then I say here visit next page then I say here closing anchor tag file save go to browser and refresh you can see that visit next page is displayed and it has the text decoration that is underline what if you want to change on mouse over the background color to orange then I need to use CSS so I go to the head section I use the style tag type equal to text or CSS close then I say here closing style tag here I say locate any anchor element in this page at present this is the only anchor we have then I use colon colon indicates pseudo class in CSS friends colon h o v e r hover hover is a pseudo class name or you can say pseudo class keyword in flower bracket I write background dash color O R A N G E orange. Now I am telling any anchor element if its state changes to hover, apply the background color orange. By default, the anchor is in unvisited status. 
I talk about the different status of the HTML elements or the anchor element in the upcoming video tutorials. File, save, go to browser and refresh. Now the anchor is in unvisited state. If I move the mouse over, you can see that the background color is set to orange. Now the status of the anchor element is hovered state. So anchor element is in now hovered state. So based on the status or state of HTML element, you can apply the styles. This is just a basic information. I hope you guys have understood how do we use the pseudo class selectors. In the next video tutorial, I discuss in detail more pseudo class selectors. We have various pseudo class selectors. We have pseudo class selectors with respect to navigation, with respect to UI elements. We have pseudo class selectors with respect to DOM tree structure. We discuss about them in detail step by step in the next video tutorial friends. So for this tutorial, this much is enough friends. I hope you guys have understood at least the basic idea behind pseudo class selectors, how we can use them in our HTML pages. So for this tutorial, this much is enough friends. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.